All right, so welcome to the Girl Family Networks procrastination vlog or series or whatever. So we got a frost coming in, and we're gonna take up this cassava. I already took one out, but I went to get bells. It's a little kind of cold out here for them, but she's gonna come out. And these are real easy to pull out of the raised bed, so I'm gonna let her pull these out of the raised bed, and then I'm gonna pull the ones out of the ground. You can get started anytime you feel like it, ma'am. So it's, it's real, don't stand up on that, it might break. Just oh. pull it out. Yeah, so it's real, real, real windy. So we decided, we don't know if, if these are the variety that can withstand cold temperatures. So we've just decided to just take them out anyway. We're not gonna process them today because we got these to pull out whoa <laughs> <laughs> we have these to pull out we have our banana plants to get out to get up you standing on top of why you trying to pull out at the same time put your feet on the ground man uh oh some carrots in there hold that bubble oh that's a nice size one. Oh, Look wow. like something's still in the ground or something. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> wow. Golly. No, golly. Hey. Say golly. It's cold out here. Maybe not. I'll, I'll not use that really. fork later. If anything's in there. So we're actually also gonna. Uh, <laughs> 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 what happened? The wind blow. The wind ain't blow you, man. Hold on. <laughs> Get a good grip. <laughs> I gotta hold it on. Yeah. All right. So this is, I mean, just because it's in oh. the raised bed, try another one. Try another easy one. See which one is easy. Don't worry about that one. I can get that one. This is in the raised bed, so it's easier to pull these out than if they were in the ground. In the ground, it's it's a little bit more difficult. So how many that is plants you got? One, two, three, four. Good harvest so far. She's making it. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, I pulled it yeah. off. Yeah, oh, so we got some that's still in there. And we got a fork that later, before I start to add salt to this, I'll go through it and hopefully. Oh, look at that. That looks good. You can try. Try the one over there on the side. Uh oh, little balls have come. Still got the little tag on them clothes, girl. It's <laughs> first time using it this year, huh? Go. Get it. Pull it out of there. Get up, bubble. Over here, bubble. Come on, you ready? Look at it. Cool. Pull it, bubble. Good job. Good job. Sorry. Uh oh, what happened? She hit her face? Uh oh. Don't let her no. fall out of there. So those broke off. I gotta get it. I see it over there. <sighs> it broke off. Yeah. I'll get in there with the fog before I get ready to add. Looks good, looks good. One more. What you getting, dirt? I see you over there. We ain't pulling dirt up. One more. Oh, oh. Oh, you broke it! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! It's big! It's... It's so big. <gasps> you broke it again. Oh, oh my gosh. You oh. gotta use that one now. Can you feel it in there? Oh, it's under this uh, black thing. Oh, it went under the black uh, black paper that we had in there. It's over there. Uh. Don't worry about it. I'll get the part. Look. See it? We'll get it later. Yeah. 
Don't worry about that. All right. <laughs> so, let's see. Can you pick up and show us what we got? Oh, excuse me. You can hold it upside down like this. Baba! Oh. Let's see, I can get them. You hold it. You ain't gonna be able to hold all of them. No, that's too much. <laughs> the thing is too hot and heavy. This stops. No, uh, so we got this much. We'll probably just do this for a thumbnail. Let's walk over here and get these out. Then I have to cut them off. Come on, you can put it down. We already got these out. Unfortunately, the ones that's in containers, we can actually like leave them a little longer because we can bring it under the car porch. But these that's outside, I don't want them to freeze out. So, and I don't want to lose these cuttings. So that's why we actually pull them. This area here would not be a good area to actually grow casama uh, like it would be in that raised bed because this is blocked by the sun basically all year round. So maybe a good place for some uh, greens like uh, onion greens, onion tops, but not a good place for these root vegetables because they need that sun, which they just started getting once they reach the top of the house. Go ahead, little girl. Pulling a lot of them out that's breaking off from, from what I'm looking at here, they're breaking off in the ground. So, but still, at this point, out here to the front, these uh cuttings actually mean a little bit more to us than, than the actual roots because we got a lot. Good. Three more. And hiding under here, we actually had some uh, grapefruit. grapefruit and lime. lime. We need to get all of these. Uh, Morning glory. Morning glory. So I just watched uh, Miss Linda. Uh, it's T Night, the New Orleans gardener. And she was collecting some morning glory seeds, which made me think about these that were out here. So I said, man, let me go out there and see if I can get some. And we've actually been taking in some of those morning glory seeds as well. Oh, wow. That one a good size. This one was out further from the house, so it got most of the sun. Watch out, that thing, you're breaking the uh, grapefruit then. One more. One more. Now you can see the house again. Oh, I got two more. Oh. And I ain't worried about what's in the ground. I'll come with the park another day. Let's see what I can do. Look like I'm breaking some off big time though. I can just hear them breaking off. That's a huge one. Yeah. I can hear them breaking off. See that? You 
pulling up the uh, the limes. Now this is only half of the work because we're gonna have to cut, cut these and put them in bags, which I got, which I just use, just black trash bags from anywhere, Dollar Tree anywhere. And you just cut them long enough to fit in a bag, making sure you write where's the top. So you would like write a T right here. And when you cut that, that way you know that's the top part of it. All right. Probably gotta harvest them limes to them. Yeah. They juicy. Oh shucks. You keep breaking, they got nothing. <laughs> because though it's so wet and muddy. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. We gotta take them off. <laughs> he ain't so, <laughs> so I let Bells do a thumbnail with these. And we're not gonna harvest the ones that we got in the container. I'm gonna try to get that container under the car porch. Uh, so once the, stop already. Once, once the frost passes, I can take it back out into the sun. Last year, I looked at our previous video. Last year, we actually harvested these. November, November It was November 17, November 18. So we're almost to November. So it's about two weeks earlier this year that we're harvesting this. And I'll make sure to write that in my tablet so I'll know. Right, so it's real windy, but we got through the thumbnail. And now, we're gonna do the cleaning process. And all you have to really do is just clean them really good. You can just feel the frost coming. If it's gonna be this cold tonight. Now I did some reading and some research on frost. If it's real, real, real windy, then the wind doesn't allow for the moisture to stay on the plant. So you can't have like real windy cold without the frost ever really getting to As the wind keeps everything dry. But let me go ahead on and clean this all the way off and then we'll come back and talk about what we got. <laughs> 